Locatelli owned a deli on the edge of town. He was the local favorite, now big business would surround. Like his father, he was a butcher just to make ends meet. It at least fed his family and kept shoes on his kids' feet. But lately, times were rough. Income from the shop was low and it just wouldn't be enough. Plus, this year there would be no Christmas bonus. He was now losing faith, convinced that the whole system was bogus. Found being an entrepreneur had little perks. Couldn't get a second job and didn't want to put his wife to work But maybe he could call his second cousin Vinny Who always had a scheme to many organized crime families He said he had the perfect way to triple the store's profit All he had to do was play the role of the middleman, just another puppet The first drop would take place next day, 5 a.m. in the back A Cadillac filled with men in suits delivered a bounce of crack Smack, coke, and smoke, this shit was no joke But better than being broke what did he got himself into? Did he buy that boy he could chew? He knew that he wouldn't have to sell it, but got nervous keeping it in his back, cause in the front, you could smell it. The last thing that he tell him, not to rat or turn his back, cause after that he couldn't help him, but now income was swelling. To explain all the new presents, told his wife he had investments. Living like kings, diamond rings, things were looking pretty. Jet skis, been leaving and an apartment in the city. A pity he didn't know that the cops traced the dough right under his nose and closed in without warning. He Remembers the fateful morning, they stormed in with the no, warrant. Please, please, Anything you do no worse, they can and will be used against you in court. Police report said drug trafficking, punishable by fine and time. But the sheriff knew that he wasn't capable of the crime. So in exchange for narking, he offered the police bargain, told him he could walk clean. That's when the singing started, gave it up about Vinny and the rest of the dealers. Didn't keep in mind as to what they did to squealers. Left the interrogation, noticed he was being chased when he saw that black Cadillac. This was a serious situation. Acceleration, get away, saw his life flash before his eyes, it all came crumpling down, couldn't hide behind the lies, figured there was no options left, either way he went in silly cool death, pulled down the alley, took out his hunting knife, slit his neck and wrist, so he could end his life, now his family grieves, wonder why he had to leave, oh, what a tangle web we weave, oh, what a tangle web we weave, when first we